Hey guys, I got a new uh, satellite station design for you. Um, basically what we have here is we have an, uh, two arrivals. Uh, if you're coming in from this direction, you're diverted into the station. You bypass the switch piece and uh, head in. If you came for the other, from the other direction, you also head straight in. So either way you come in, you're diverted into the arrival area here. Um, where you're deposited on a pressure plate and you can either choose to go back to the left or back to the right or uh, stop at this uh, station. Give it a run through here. Um, let's hit the left. We're kicked off to the left here. And so we go down to the next station, come on back the next day. Uh, let's say we're going to continue off to the right. And we go off to the right, come back into the station, see where you want to go back to the right, doesn't matter, go any way you want. And uh, so we're kind of using, uh, and also uh, to get out of this cart without messing anything up, just click on that cart and uh, nice and easy exit. Uh, we're using these half blocks to kind of uh, save some space, uh, the, uh, and, and half blocks you don't suffocate when you're traveling through them in a cart, so that's the trick we're using here. And uh, how this thing works, um, the main feature of this is the reason I was able to get this so compact is a new type of door booster here. Um, I came up with one uh, similar to this uh, using only these two in the back. And uh, I showed that to a friend of mine on SMP server, Kevin, and he came up with a, a design that uh, was uh, kind of uh, similar to this. It, it, it dropped it down to um, see I was coming in from the top here and uh, he figured out a way to come in on the halfway down through the door so I took that idea of, of Kevin's and combined it with mine and came up with this uh, little unit here watch what happens when it comes back in falls in the hole and gets shoved to the door ready to go for the next round. by this this is on a track so it won't get messed up walk all over that. Um, you have an AND gate hooked up so you can only release the cart when the uh, rider is in the cart and the cart is in position. And if you want to reload it, that's all you have to do. It's reloaded, ready to go. And uh, off you go. So I think that'll be a nice little uh, uh, benefit. Don't get out of the cart like that use the uh, escape hatch. I'm, I'm new to that so I keep forgetting. I think it'll still work. So there you go. Um, nice little uh, compact uh, satellite station. The, uh, if you're curious I'm going to talk about the redstone now or you can tune out. Um, go down to the redstone area here. Um, we've got an RSNR latch uh, hooked up to the one piece of track that will change. Uh, the left button will change this track to go off the left, otherwise it's defaulted to go to the right. So the left button input comes around here, uh, sets the RSNR latch. This delay signal follows it uh, a few seconds later and closes it after you leave. Um, I'm not sure what this is doing there. That does nothing. Disregard that. Um, we have the uh, pressure plate here and it's hooked up to an AND gate um, with uh, either one. I guess this would be an OR gate for the buttons. And it's hooked up to an AND gate um, that goes to the door which releases the cart. So that's pretty simple down there and not very big. What are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, eight. I can't count. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight by eleven in area. By three, four, five, six. What did I say? 8 by 11 by 6? 
so not too shabby. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and I hope you can uh, use this one in your worlds. Stay tuned for uh, minecart in boxes versions 7.0 and 8.0 back there. And I'll have those out uh, by the end of the week. Hopefully. Have a good day.